everybody. It's been a while. COVID, COVID long hauler, surgery, unexpected surgery. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do a video today. We're gonna go see our daughter in um, Waldorf's production of Spamalot. And I am baking cookies, not cookies, cupcakes for the cast and crew. And these are Hershey syrup cupcakes. Um, I have had this recipe, I made this recipe up when I was a teenager. And um, it's just been on my mind lately. So I thought, well, why not try it? Sorry, Chip's growling. I'll be right back. Here, go up. Uh, why not try it and make it up for them and see what they think. So I had in here a stick of butter, just salted. I, I used a stick of salted butter. There's a lot of chocolate and salt helps cut through and enhance the flavor of the chocolate. So you could certainly use a, um, a mixer. I'm just not. So I'm creaming the butter and the sugar together. The butter I actually got to just over room temperature. It was slightly melting because I wanted it to blend really well with the sugar. And it's easier to do that if it's a little bit warmer. So, creamed it up. Creamed it up and here we go. Adding two eggs, one egg at a time and mixing it up. And my whisk just came apart. So that's lovely. I'll hang on to that little piece that came apart and whisk some more, okay? Here we go. I've got my oven preheated to 350. This is gonna make like 18 to 21 um, muffin, not muffins, cupcakes. I'm struggling to talk today, y'all. So that was one egg. This is two eggs. Hush, quit laughing. It's been a day already. It's been a day. Here we go. Some vanilla. Put a teaspoon of vanilla in here. I was making muffins this morning and realized I was completely out of vanilla. So you can't exactly make chocolate chip muffins with no vanilla. So Chris had to go to the store at 8 o'clock this morning and buy me some vanilla. Kind of sad. I don't run out of vanilla very often because I try to stay on top of my stock. So, what I have here is self-rising flour. I'm gonna put one cup of self-rising flour in here. That means I don't have to add any more leavening because it's gonna do it all on its own, which is nice. And I am very, very particular about my brand of self-rising flour, one that I can't actually find in Iowa, but I finally bit the bullet and paid a little extra money, not only for the flour I like, but also to have it shipped here. So that's um, kind of tragic, I guess, but it is what it is. It makes better everything, to be honest. All right. So, looks kind of like a dough ball at this point. So we're gonna add the last ingredient. Quit looking at that. Oh, great, I'm twisting it didn't do any good at all. So I have, when I, when I was a teenager, you could get Hershey syrup in a can and you would just open it up, pour the can in there, it's all good. Now you can't get that. So what I have, and I think it was richer. So what I have here is a cup and a half of Hershey syrup and a quarter cup of Hershey's cocoa. And I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna mix this up, stir it up really well, and get it added to my mix. <laughs> it just 
flew out of here and into the bowl and some of it on the counter, but oh well, I'm in a hurry. It's still gonna taste really good. Now, there's a tricky, oh my God, my whisk just came apart. Oh, I told y'all it's been a day already. Look at that. It's been a day and a half already. We hadn't even left the house yet. She's rough on whisk, y'all. I am rough on whisk. It's kind of sad. Okay. Ooh. Put that over there. Whisk without the whiskey part. We'll just stir. There we go. That's blended. All right. I'm going to grab my rubber spatula. Get all that goody. Be quiet, SpongeBob. No, that was Mr. Krabs, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, get all that goody out of there. Get it stirred in. Now, the one little tricky thing I discovered about making this as cupcakes is that they like to bubble up and out of the um, liners. So make sure that when you fill your liners, you are not filling them even to two thirds full, just a little under two thirds full will keep it from going too nuts. This is rich y'all and it's super, super soft. So when you take these out of the pan, I'm telling you, uh, be careful because you will squish them if you're not. So that was an easy, easy to mix. And now we are going to scoop into the muffin pans, cupcake pans really. So a little more than half, not quite two thirds full. I'm gonna put these in the oven for about 22 minutes. And when they're done, I'll show you what they look like. See y'all in a minute. Stop recording, Chris. Stop recording, Chris. 22 minutes later. And that one cracked when I took it out of the oven, but that's okay, it'll be covered in frosting. So you really want it just to kinda be right at the top when it's done and then you can just make it nice and pretty with frosting. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second because otherwise it's gonna come up and out like this little guy. And then the side, I mean the sides are actually kinda good because they're kinda crispy and yummy and um, they taste really good. This is really rich and the batter is really, really soft, but oh my gosh, it's so good. There we go, finished product. I am not a decorator, I like to bake. I don't like to decorate much, but Waldorf's colors are purple and gold, and so we put purple and gold sprinkles on the cupcakes. I hope y'all try this, I hope you like it. It makes a really, really good nine by 13 cake, by the way. Let me know what you think, and y'all take care.